Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how to get checkbox data in Flask. So this should be something that's pretty simple, but for some reason, Flask doesn't cover it in the documentation. So it could be hard to figure out. So that's why I'm making this video. So I'm going to set up a very simple example. We're going to have one route and this is just going to return a form and handle both get and post. So I won't do anything with the data itself. I will just show you how to get the data. So index return render template. I'm going to create a template called index. And inside of here, index.html. And we're going to have a simple form that posts to the index and inside of the form we're going to have a submit button and we're going to have some checkboxes so first uh, input type checkbox input type checkbox so we're assuming that all of these checkboxes are related so to make them related we have to give them the same name so we'll say my checkbox and we'll put that on each. And we'll say checkbox one, checkbox two, and checkbox three. And for the value, we'll just have one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, so here we want to get the checkbox data and display it if this is a post request. So if request uh, method is post, so I need to import the request object. I want to print out the checkbox data. So the normal way to do this would be request form get and then the name. So the name is my checkbox. So we'll just print this out and return done. So let's give this a shot. Let's run the app. Okay, so we see the three checkboxes here. Let's say I check one, two, and three. What happens? We see done, but here we just see the number one, but we checked all three. So let's try that again. Let's just check number two, hit submit, and we see two. If we check two and three, we see two. So this doesn't work because we want to know all the checkboxes that were checked. So to do that, instead of using dot get, we use dot get list, and this works with checkboxes. So now if I refresh and select all three and hit submit, need to restart the app, doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, so let me try that again. Checkbox one, two, three, hit submit. We see a list of the checkboxes that were checked. So these are the values. So if I do that again, if I select two and three, we see a list with two and three. And if I select just one, let's say two, hit submit, then we see just two in the list. So get list returns a list, and this is most useful for checkboxes. So if you were ever wondering how to get data from checkboxes in Flask, checkboxes that are related, then this is how you do it. So I know this was a simple video, but like I said, there's no documentation to cover this, so I just want to briefly talk about it. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.